welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog so right now i am at target it's 5 34 on a wet tuesday um and i don't know what i was thinking but i decided to take off all of my dip nail polish on my own and it honestly took hours i was like soaking my nails in cotton balls I didn't have any foil, so I had used saran wrap and it just wasn't really like holding the cotton ball on it that well. And then I had this little pick thing, so I was like picking off the dip. It was a process, it took forever, and I'm at Target now because I want to get um, like a nail buffer file to like make everything super smooth and then also get like um like a strengthening nail polish kind of thing just to like hold my nails over because I am going to the nail salon on Friday yeah in a couple days so I don't know why I didn't just wait but this one nail the middle nail it was like coming up on the edges and like dirt was getting in it so it was like grossing me out and like really annoying me so I picked them all off and my nails feel literally so freaking weak but I also didn't really love the color, so that's probably why I just refused to wait and I just took too long to reschedule or to schedule my follow-up appointment. So it's kind of my fault, but like I said, I'm gonna head into Target now. I'm probably gonna like look at home decor and all that stuff. So I'll bring you guys along and show you guys if I see anything really cute. Okay, so found this section, but I don't know what to get. There's like this one. Orly, Orly Nail Defense Strengthening Protein Treatment. And then there's also like a cuticle oil, which could be really nice. Um, and then they also have like the Sally Hansen Nail Rehab. Look how disgusting that looks. Cuticle Rehab? I don't know. Or there's just like maximum growth. And then there's this one down here which is complete care, seven in one nail treatment. These are the seven benefits. Maybe I'll get this one. Christian's brother and sister-in-law just had their baby in the beginning of October. So I'm just looking at some of the baby items. Um, she's really, really tiny. She's literally like five pounds. Her name is Riley May, but I'm just looking at some baby stuff because I just feel like I want to get her some more things. I got a new swaddle for her and then also some of these like ribbed headband bows but maybe I'll get some clothes too and just throw that in there um like I said she's really tiny right now so she like barely fits into newborn things but she said if I do get anything else because you know babies go kind of fast uh, maybe get some like three month things so yeah she has a lot of pink stuff so I'm trying to see if I can find other colors to like get her those are so cute. These little pumpkins. Guys, you know I love my throw pillows. I actually really want to get some new ones for the couch because I'm just sick of the feathers like poking me in the back. Um, but I just don't know what I want to do yet. Um, but I haven't been to Target in a minute. Okay, I really like these ottomans and this is like what I would put under our little side table in like our living room area i mean not side table console table like one of these kinds of ottomans actually you could probably fit two under them but these are from studio mcgee wow this is the neatest i've ever seen the target pillows they're usually like jumbled up and then also thrown all over the place so ooh, target's pillows section is nice Okay guys, I am back from Target. Don't look at the background. It is disgusting in my apartment right now. I have to go through and clean it. Um, but after Target, I'll show you actually what I got from Target. So I did get the Sally Hansen Complete Care 7-in-1 Nail Treatment. Stronger, healthy looking nails in three days. And that is when my nail appointment is. So we'll see if they actually are stronger and healthier. Um, and then I also got the Coco Cutie Holler and Glow Cuticle Oil. Because I don't have a cuticle oil and I know it's just like, literally I could put any oil on my nails and it would probably look fine. But 
it's just a little bit more fun to have one um and whenever you have like fresh nails they always put cuticle oil on at the end and it just makes it look so much better so just to like do that daily and then i also got this buffing block my mom used to have one of these when i was really little and i would use um like the shine side and it would make my nail look so nice so i just got one of these because the ridges and everything and i'll do that before i do the treatment and then i stopped at wegmans to get sushi because i was feeling hungry and i didn't feel like cooking so i got the spicy king salmon roll and also a shrimp a coconut shrimp roll so i'm gonna have these i'll save like the rest for christian if i don't finish it speaking of um cooking and stuff i personally i love food okay when it comes to cooking like i don't enjoy cooking that much i'd rather be cooked for like i love when christian cooks for me and i would say he's the better cook i mean like i just have to follow recipes so like it's not that hard to cook but like i just ne have never really had like the i don't know people just like have the good taste buds to figure out like oh what can what like works well together what will taste good all that stuff and i feel like i don't have that i don't know maybe like my mom used to be the same way like she used to not like cooking or she wasn't really good at it and then you know later on she got better at it so like i'm i'm hoping that's gonna be me but for right now i think i actually want to re-sign up for like a subscription meal service service kit like hello fresh green chef is what i did um back when we moved in here and that was great but maybe try like hellofresh home chef whatever i want to have that like just prepped and ready to go in the fridge so i don't have to think like oh what do i need to get the grocery for this recipe and all that stuff <laughs> I didn't intend to like put on nail polish but I actually just don't like the look of my nails without any nail polish on it so I used this Essie nail polish color um, and it's in the shade 321 Miss is always right I don't think it'll focus because this camera like just always has a hard time focusing oh there you go I haven't had clean nails since february of this year so i'm actually going to cancel my nail appointment that's supposed to be on friday um just to give my nails like a breather they like i said they were feeling really weak so hopefully just by doing like regular nail polish that like helps it i'll let you guys know how my cuticles feel after a little bit and how my nails actually feel all right you guys it is the next morning i just came back from a walk and i picked up some packages that came in the mail so I'm gonna open them and show you guys what they are. So this one is from No Beauty. Um, it is the skincare line by Vanessa Hudgens and um, Madison Beer and also a dermatologist. So they sent over some products. I took their quiz to see what products I should use. And I picked out two of them and then one other product that I just wanted to try out. Um, the other product that I was recommended was a uh, facial cleanser, but I already use my Curology facial, facial cleanser and I have a lot of them, so I'm trying to use them up. So I decided to pick out something else instead. So one of the um, products that they recommended for me to use was this resurfacing night serum. And the one of the reasons why is because it has retinoid in it and i really want to start using like a retinoid um retinol kind of thing um it also has hyaluronic acid vitamin c vitamin e and alpha arbiturin so i'm really excited to use this you're supposed to apply this twice weekly starting twice weekly um at night and then 
increase frequently to nightly usage if your skin likes it. Okay, so it looks like this. And the ingredients are listed on the back. So I'm gonna start using them and tell you guys how they are. The next product that they recommended was the Calming Day Moisturizer. It just says, shake well before use, apply a thin layer to clean skin, can be used morning and evening. So the packaging is really cute. Looks like that. I'm gonna use this one today and then this one tonight at night um, and see how my skin likes it. I hope I don't, I haven't used new products really in a really long time. Actually, that's a lie. Probably since the beginning of the year because I've just been straight up just using my Curology and then also Ole Henriksen, like the vitamin C um, line. And then I also wanted to get a eye moisturizer. So this is the Reviving Day Eye Cream. And the ingredients are hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, squalene, caffeine, and peptide complex. So excited to try all of these. I will let you guys know how they are. <clears throat> and then the next package that came in was part of Riley's gift. So I got this from Sugar House Baby Shop on um, Etsy. And I got her like a little muslin baby swaddle blanket. It's in this apricot color. There's so many colors to choose from. So if you guys have any family members that just had babies, there's so many different colors. I honestly would have gotten her like even like the green or blue or something like that. So if she likes it, I can always get her another one. The other one I'm pretty sure shipped from like overseas, like the UK. So I don't know when that one's coming, but it says it's in transit, but I don't have location details on it. So I have no idea where that is. But those are the products that I got. I'm gonna do a um, Glassins haul for you guys. I have, I've gotten some products in and I've been meaning to do like a haul for you guys and just talk about like how I kind of curate pieces for my closet there's like three things that were like way out of my comfort zone i honestly don't know why i bought them but i'll talk more about that once i show you guys the haul all right here is the first top that i got from glassons it's a staple just like basic white cross tank i love like the design of that um i love the ribs and how thick it is you don't need to wear a bra with it you can wear like nipple stickers to cover your nips if you want to but i personally love 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 getting basics just because you can create so many different outfits from a basic piece like this like you can swap the bottoms out for like leather black pants for a night look black jeans for a night look or even daytime um, you can wear it with like skirts and stuff like that So I just personally love getting basics because you can create like 500 million outfits just from this one piece So that's definitely a trick that I have um, for creating outfits is Honestly doing elevated basics. That is what I call my style almost Okay, here's the next piece. I will link everything down below. Of course, this is the only top that I can't find the link for on their website anymore, but this was just a really great piece to have um, transition like into fall. I loved the color. I love the neckline, all of that. And now that it is becoming like more fall weather, I can just pair a jacket, leather jacket over top um, or something like that. So yeah, this is the second piece. I have a picture in this next top, so I'm just gonna put that over the screen, but I am obsessed with this like crisscross sweater. I love the cutout at the top. I think that's so cute, and I see a lot of other companies making um, sweaters that have like the cutout and the top here. So I'll put the picture on the screen, but this is just a really great basic, again, to have in the fall that you can style like so many different ways with the different types of bottoms that you wear with it and the accessories that you wear with it. So definitely a great piece to have in your closet for the fall time okay now we are stepping into the more trendier like outside of my comfort zone pieces i personally gravitated towards the color of this shirt it's kind of like mocha swirl action going on but the way i would style this top to fit within my style is like doing black leather pants with like a strappy black heel i think that would look so so cute um, I could also wear it during the daytime with like honestly these jeans and like some sneakers or something but Definitely, I love like more feminine Looks like pairing like a heel with something um, That's a little bit more edgier to like bring those two styles together Okay, sometimes when I order things I kind of like black out and just 
don't know why I did. Like, I think this day I was really into butterflies, to be honest. I think it is a cool, like, a really cool shirt. Tell me if you think I can pull it off. I think this is really, really cute. May, might give it to my little sister, but I don't know. It's just, like, a... I wear so much like basics I felt like I just needed to have like a statement kind of piece just like along with that other top that I just showed you guys but it is cute I feel like you know I could wear like make it make it work within my style like like I said maybe pair it with like a heel or something or um some booties like high heeled booties so let me know if I should keep this shirt or give it to my sister okay so this is the last piece I don't think it personally flatters like my body at all, but I am too far out of like the return date deadline. So I think I can make it work. I just ordered a black leather jacket. So that could be really cute layered over it. And then I really love like, you could wear these style boots with it. That could be really cute. And do like a mini dress with like these style boots like that i feel like i would love like a high leather black heeled boot i'll put like a picture on the screen of what i'm talking about and then with the leather jacket over top i think that could work so those were all the glasses pieces that i picked out i'm gonna link everything in the description box like i said um let me know if you enjoyed this haul i want to do more hauls um soon and also just kind of like go through my closet and pick some outfits out. I actually just did that the other day and I created literally like 10 different outfits just by styling basics with, you know, more statement pieces like a jacket or different pants and stuff like that. So stay tuned for another video because I want to go over how you can just like style basics and not have to buy like so many different things because I know for me, like I love fashion. I love all of that. But sometimes in the influencer world and like YouTube, Instagram, social media in general, it can make you feel like you have to buy all of these, si all of these things. But truly, I believe you don't have to buy a lot of things like just buy the basics you can rent pieces from like newly or something as like this statement like layering pieces and work your outfit from there i will say invest in different bottoms and the basics and then you'll figure everything out from there but that is kind of like my tip so far i mean i'm just gonna maybe make a separate video on that um talking further if you guys want me to so let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in um and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.